Today, take a look at the Safaspay welder. We got our user manual. We got our electrode holder. It has a standard twist style lock. There's a nice strong spring to it. And if we look on the back, we do see a star pattern so we can hold those electrodes in different positions. We got our grounding clamp. Good strong spring on it, and it also has the same style of lock. The thing that's a little odd about this is the cable is a little short. We're looking at about four feet of cable, so you gotta have the welder fairly close to what you're gonna be working on. And then we got the welder, and it comes with five sticks. And it looks like this is 6013. So nice that they gave you something that you can get started with right away. Looks like we also got a little chipping hammer. So chipping hammer, wire brush on the other side. Always nice having something like that. But this is the welder, super tiny. Love how small they're making welders these days. We have active cooling in the back. We got our on off switch. We have a 120 volt plug, so this will plug into a standard household outlet. Right here we got positive negative and it looks like they got the electrode marked here. So we're gonna run this with electrode positive. We got a dial that is also a push button. So we are at 30 inch. I'm gonna pick that up. Let's do 60 amps. Arcs up nice TV. No issues there. So that is what we got with 60 amps. That's definitely not bad. Well, let's do a little more. There's the weld. I mean, the welds themselves are coming out pretty good. Got good penetration. So here's another 6013 rod. This one is by Golden Bridge. So there we go. That is a nice clean weld. So yeah, I am uh, I'm very impressed with that. I mean it's I had my buddy came in here and he was like, geez, they keep making them smaller. But yeah, it is actually kind of ridiculous because I mean this thing, it's like the size of my hand. So I can easily carry that thing around. The ground clamp really isn't as big of a problem as I thought it was gonna be. This thing's so small I can easily do that thing around anyway. So yeah, that is a very cool welder.